So today is a really nice unboxing video. Yes, it's DVD, but it's one of the most favourite movies of all time. Like, there are so many good classic movies that I love, but this one, oh my god, I loved it when I saw it as a kid for the first time. The effects that they did back then was literally insane. It's what got me hyped to movies, like literally action movies. Like, this was the one. I love my comedy movies. They're great for putting me in the laughters, but literally stuff like this blimey like you don't see that every day i know they're planning to reboot this movie i think i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't looked into it recently but i really hope they don't ruin it with a reboot you don't really nearly need to reboot this movie because there's nothing wrong with this movie it's insane i would say just watch this movie it's just brilliant and the movie that i'm talking about face off Blimey, <laughs> this movie stars John Travolta and Nicolas Cage, two iconic movie actors of all time working together in a movie and pretty much it's fucking glorious. So looking at Face Off up close, you can tell it's really nice detail of how they predicted the Two-Face um, bit. They could have done it a bit better though because this little fade of shade really just means they're separate and not actually together the, because if, if you remember Two-Face from the Batman series he has Two-Face and it's carved down the middle they could have like photoshopped half and half of their face and, and yeah it wouldn't have been good but you wouldn't have this massive gap here you can tell that the nose is curves off so it's distracting when you look at the middle bit for me but yeah obviously Face Off stars Travolta and Nicolas Cage it's in order to trap him he must become him it's one of those movies where they really went over the top with the special effects. Like, it was fantastic. It was the first movie, like, 18 movie that I saw. And it was blooding brilliant. <laughs> I was so glad I saw this. Like, you don't see this at all today. You don't see 18 movies done this well. Like, it's brilliant. It starts off as Nicolas Cage is the bad guy and John Travolta is the good guy. Then later on... They have to do a face swap. What it implies is John Travolta, the good guy, must swap faces with the bad guy, Nicolas Cage. Which then ends in a theory of that basically Nicolas Cage is playing as the good guy and then John Travolta has to play as the bad guy. But you have to understand that Nicolas Cage face is actually John Travolta underneath. It's really confusing at the start when you try to explain this as someone, but when you watch the movie, you instantly understand it. And the reason and the reason why it was like a, like a sort of faces is because as you if you know Nicolas Cage, he doesn't play the bad guy in movies. This is the only exception, and it's a nice rare gem to have. To have all the movies that he that he stars in. He just doesn't like playing the bad guy. So when he got introduced to this one, he was a bit hesitant until he found out he was going to play the good guy. So it's one of those movies where he, weirdly enough, there are some Nicolas Cage movies that are good, but majority of them are bad. I'd say about 70% of them are bad, but this is the, like one of the good ones. And I think as an actor's point of view, like, like, yes, he's comfortable being the good guy, but also as well, he doesn't really experiment with his options. Like he doesn't, want to be something else he just wants to be the good guy but if you think about it if he was to become a bad guy like he was portrayed in this one he would have a lot more successful movies lined up and would have had a better name for himself like don't get me wrong movies like the rock and all that those were good with him in there but he was still a good guy we got the special features included up in the top hand corner like this is really bizarre like normally a special feature is supposed to be down the bottom i'm so used to it being down the bottom but you just get this like Nice bar description here that tells you a bit about the movie. Then you get the images across here that are pretty much really good images. So you got the scenes of them both fighting together. Then you got a scene with a face in the jar. Then you got a bit of a love scene making going on there. And then above that you got the special features, which is basically action overload, cast biographies, and the trailer. So not really up the work on those two good ones, but the trailer ones I don't like. So yeah, two out of three, not bad. So, moment of truth. What's the inside going to be like? Oh, look, another promo. Pound 10 for Music Magpie. And then the actual DVD cover itself. Like, it's amazing. It's weird. I can't tell you the texture on this one, like what it feels like, but it's so bizarre. Like, when you scrub over the text, they stand out a bit bulky, so you can basically stand them and go across. But then the actual, like, 
it's the same feeling for the actual logo bits down here, but then it's just the feel of it, the gloss and now, like, it's so thick. It's like it's not the best craftsmanship done to it. Like, it could be done a bit better, but a bit smooth, but blimey. But uh, yes, that was Face Off for DVD. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you haven't done already, when you do subscribe, please make sure you tick that bell or the notification button to keep up to date with all the latest from me. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.